Hello everyone and welcome. We are right here at Tougaloo College in the Kroger Gymnasium right here on the campus. I'm Trellis Williams right here with me. Of course is Coach Keith Barnes, the head coach of the women's basketball team here at Tougaloo as well as the athletic director. Coach, thank you for joining us here. Oh, you're more than welcome. Thank you for coming out to, to be with us. Absolutely. And so first question is, so your team this year, you've had uh, some, some close losses including uh, on Saturday at Wiley and overtime and things like that, and now you're at a two and five uh, conference record. What are the things that you're focusing on with your team in order to make a comeback here in the second half of the season? Uh, defense. You know, um, we have uh, in those games that we have uh, lost very close. Yeah. Um, six of them have been three or less. Um, we have got to find that leader. Yeah. Who, or, or you know, as the students would say now, today's uh, the goat that can, you know, we can get the ball to them and they can take the game over. However, we, we're giving up too many points. Yeah. Um, down the stretch, we gave up um, Saturday night. We gave up several layups. That is just, you know, that's unheard of. We, you just cannot do that. That those should be charges or those missed shots. So we, we've got to play, play better defense. Yeah, for sure. And because. About to just say offensively, I mean, you've got uh, Morgan Williams lead your team in scoring with just over 14 points a game, and then uh, Rodrika Parker nearly has six assists a game. That's a pr this, that's pretty good assist numbers for sure. Yes. And so uh, your offense really it is there in a lot of ways, right. uh, just kind of focusing on that defense. Kind of if you go into the details, uh, kind of what are you focusing on specifically on defense? Here? Well, my bigs have to get up and down the floor better. Um, my guards, we're putting pressure on the ball, but we're giving up lanes. Uh, particularly the, the, the baseline, and uh, there's no help there. Yeah. So, by the, you know, uh, a, a good, smooth, smart guard is going to take you, you know, deep left, deep right, and they're going to cross you and you're going to get to the lane uh, from the baseline because they know there's no help there. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we, we just got to go back to fundamentals and, and make sure that our feet and our body is square to the, to the defender and keep, uh, keep her from the basket. For sure, and if we just take a step back and kind of go into your background a little bit. So, Coach, I know this is your fifth season here mm -hmm. at Tougaloo coaching this women's team, and you're also the athletic director. Just kind of talk about your background and just kind of how you got to where you are now as the Tougaloo uh, coach. Um, well, uh, early on I, I actually attended Tougaloo here, played ball here, awesome. basketball, and um, had no idea that I would uh, be coaching 35 years later yeah. with me. Um, however, um, Ventured off to Nashville and did a few things and continued school. Um, and uh, that was I was in a crossroad, crossroad yeah. between being a businessman and, and, and being a, yeah. a teacher. And uh, the teacher won out in many cases. Uh, although I did um, leave the classroom for a few years to go back to save a company that I had worked for in Nashville. Now, yeah. to bring that all to fruition, I worked at St. Joseph Catholic High School for better than 20 years. 20 plus years yeah and I also went into corporate America for about 12 years 10 or 12 years yeah um, so between the two my passion was always uh, helping youth um, yeah. some of the reason for me coming to coach is because you know uh, I, I had a zeal for it and, and yeah. I thought I was pretty good at it and and um, uh, I was given an opportunity uh, St. Sure. Joseph gave me an opportunity and we, we, we made some history there, so we're, we're, we're still trying to um, continue the, the, the same here. Uh, while at St. Joe, I taught mathematics, I taught um, um, statistics, and then um, I was athletic director, um, men's and women's basketball coach, yeah. track coach. You know, in a small school, you, you, you kind of get a flavor for everything. Yeah. Uh, and even drove the bus every now and then. Um, you know. I'm a team player. I yep. believe in giving giving the kids the best opportunity to win. And whatever I could do to do that, I was going to do that. I come back to Tougaloo uh, a few years ago, and um, I wanted to bring that same energy to Tougaloo. Yep. Uh, while at St. Joe, uh, uh, Niche.com named us the, the best uh, private school in the, in the state. Uh, surpassing St. Andrews and, yeah. and a lot of the other great schools, you know. Um, so that was a, you know, a serious accomplishment. And at the time, actually, I was the, the principal at St. Joe. So I went, I matriculated, wow. <laughs> yeah, I matriculated from, from uh, uh, my first year as an assistant coach to my last 
four years as the administrator at uh, at St. Joseph. Yeah. Uh, first African American to do that. Yeah. Uh, and I might add, um, you know, St. Joseph is a uh, Catholic school, um, non-Catholic. Yeah. African American. So I, I felt pretty good about some of the accompli accomplishments that I made while while there at St. Joe. Well, I kind of want to uh, step back into talking about uh, your team because I know the viewers wanted a nice background there. Uh, just kind of these close games that we've been having. Uh -huh. uh, just uh, as I was talking about earlier, how do you get your players uh, prepared to kind of take on those end of the game situations and then want to come out on top because it makes a big difference in your record? Yeah. Well, I think um, the first thing we've got to do is we've now established the defense that we're better at. Yeah. Uh, we're better at a full court. Man-to-man. Uh, -man. Uh, I have the speed now. Yeah. Uh, I've got some bigs that, that are quite they, – they, they slow my defense down a little bit. However, on the offensive end, their presence inside. So yeah. we do a lot of substituting to try and get the, the quicker, faster ball players on the court for, for trapping purposes. Yeah. Um, so we're just going to work uh, a bit more on our man-to-man uh, uh, -man defense, full court, and uh, full court traps. Now I want to uh, shift over to your other role here at Tougaloo as athletic director uh, here um, for this Bulldogs athletic program. Uh, just uh, kind of talk about where you see the program now because if you look on the boys' side, the boys doing well right now. The mm -hmm. men, 32-2 uh, and two last year, cool. and then they're rolling this year as well. So you got a got a good team. We'll talk to Coach Struthers a little later on. But just kind of talk about the program overall, the athletic uh, program here, where it is now, and kind of what your vision is for the future. Well, I, you know, I have big shoes to fill. Uh, Dr. James Coleman was the athletic director here for a number of years. Actually, he was my athletic director for a couple of years while here at St. at um, Tougaloo, excuse me. Um, but then um, Andrew Pennington picked, took over and, and, and finished my years here at Tougaloo. Um, so I've got big shoes to fill. Um, we have been concentrating on uh, assisting the college with enrollment. Yeah. So, you know, we're, we're starting new programs. We're, we're bringing back old programs. Um, uh, we've just added the men's and women's soccer team. Um, we are, in a couple of years, we'll have a, a, slow, a fast pitch, uh, softball, okay. um, and at some point, track and field. Yeah. Um, however, I, I see Tougaloo moving into um, a good space. Yeah. Uh, because I think I think um, we we have the background, we we have the, uh, the 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 capacity and the alumni that will assist us to do that. Um, we just you know being a private college, you know financials yeah. are always a concern, For and sure. right now that's that's where we are. Um, but I, I, I've often shared that I guess in the next um, three to five years, our men's team I, I do see them back in the, in the national. Um, yeah. I actually see them playing for a national championship uh, in NEIA. Um, they are good. They're yeah. back on, you know, they, they, he graduated a, a ton of guys last year. Um, and I think he may only have one returner starting, uh, uh, starter returning. Um, however, uh, you know, coach has found his system is, 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 is great and training and nurturing these guys for uh, what's to come. Uh, he also has a, a plethora of, of, of coaches now uh, that assist him. You know, yeah. uh, you know, you got the goat and Thomas Billups. And of course, uh, Coach Struthers is coming into his own as a head coach. Yeah. Um, so you know, the, the future is very bright for for Tugel Athletics um, as long as we can keep the funding coming. Absolutely, and Coach, thank you uh, okay. for joining us again. Uh, hopefully, first of, uh, of a good amount. And, uh, folks, thank you for joining us. We'll have uh, Coach uh, Struthers joining us, uh, men's basketball head coach, in just a few moments. And please be sure to hit the subscribe button. All right, here we are right here on the campus of Tougaloo College. I'm right here with Coach Eric Struthers of the Tougaloo uh, College Bulldogs uh, men's basketball team. And, uh, Coach, thank you for joining us, of course. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And so, first question, I mean, your team's rolling 13-4 and four overall with a 6-2 and two GC uh, AC record. Um, you know, your, t your team's doing very well. What's been the key to the success? Because you had a really good season last year as well. Well, the, always the key is you bring in good players. Yeah. And, uh, we got some really good players. That's the key to the success. And then I got some really good assistant coaches that's helping me put this thing together. 
So that's really been the, the key to the success here with the, with the Bulldogs. For sure. And so uh, next question. So last year, 32-2 and two record. Um, you know, it doesn't get a whole lot better than that. Of course, you guys uh, fell in the Elite Eight, which is very far, getting very far uh, last year. In the regular season, you guys took a loss to uh, Mississippi College, which you guys beat this year. And so that's already a showing of a little bit of improvement from last season. Uh, just um, where can this team go? How far can this team go? I think this team could be really good. The last year team was really good. Yep. Anytime you go 32 and two, that's impressive in, on any level. Yeah. And I had some guys. I had um, um, uh, Antoine Bean that was a point guard that he has been with me for three years. I have um, um, Lick Cam and the Big Cam, and those guys had experience. I had Trajan Felder that could could really knock down a shot. But then I had a big guy inside, uh, Taco. We call him Daryl Jones, but his name was Taco. Those guys was really good. They had experience because they had been with us for two years. They had won back-to-back -back championships, and they knew how to win games. And I yeah. didn't have to really coach a lot. All I had to do was just put them in a situation, and they, they, could, they could make wins. They could, they could get a win. And last year, we took that loss to Mississippi College, and this year, we wanted, to get, we, we wanted to get them back this year on our home floor, and then we came out and done. Now, just to talk about a little bit about my team this year, we got a we got better talent, but we just don't have the experience right now. Yeah. We just got to get some more games on our belt, some close games. We got to learn how to know how to win games. And I think uh, Montgomery, the Montgomery kid, it, it, it brought some excitement to my team. Uh, he can shoot, he can take it to the basket, and uh, we just he just got to get better on defense. He got to be able to guard people, you know, guards and forwards. Yeah. And then you got you know you got Wes Taylor, um, you know, that came from Jackson State. He can knock shots down. Uh, he can play on the defensive end. And then I got a freshman uh, that's at the point guard position right now, uh, uh, Jeffries, uh, Landon Jeffries. Uh, yep. He's doing. He's playing very, very well for yep. me right now. And then I got um, uh, Banks that's inside. That he's, he's a, he can play. You give him the ball, he can score. Then I got I got um, An Antonio Patterson that uh, can play. He was on my team last year. He was a freshman last year. He's a good defender. He's a good defender. He's yeah. a good player. He's a good rebounder. He knows the game. And I, yeah. and I think once they match more together, I think we can get better and better. I see if we can, if we can, if we can get better and they can start playing together, I, we, can, we can go somewhere. I think we can get to the national tournament this year. For sure. I mean, you got to the Elite Eight last year, so, I mean, you know mm -hmm. that you, you kind of know what it's like to be there. And, uh, you know, and even though I know that you have a lot of turnover uh, from last year's team. But, like, so I was looking at uh, some of the uh, statistics, and, um, you know, you're a team that scores – averages 74 points a game, which is a solid, good number offensively. Mm -hmm. uh, but you guys are a low-volume three-point shooting team, not a high-volume three-point shooting team. So just kind of explain what your play style is to, if somebody uh, – to our viewers who've never seen this team play, just explain the play style of this team. Well, I always want to play fast. I want to score. My my my. I want to score around 86 points a game. I want to average around 86. I know if I can average around 86 a game, the defense that we play, we try to hold teams under 60 points. Yeah. And that's our goal each game is yeah. try to hold teams under 60 points. But but I tell my team, we want to tag in the paint. You know, we want, to, we want to attack the paint more than we want to shoot our side shot. I give them the freedom to shoot our side shot, but we, well, we want to attack paint first, and yep. then we want to shoot the threes later. And so that's kind of, kind of how we want to do it. So uh, that's what we do, and, then we, and I, I give them the freedom. So uh, that's the kind of I want to play with speed, but I still want to be able to attack the paint and be able to get the three-point shots off. Okay. Well, just to take a, a step back, Coach, uh, if you could just kind of talk about your background uh, coming up, you had a long, uh, you know, career there with uh, with Jackson State, uh, working with them and working with their program. Just kind of talk about all what happened in your career leading up to this, being the uh, head men's basketball coach here at Tigerland. Okay. Well, you know, I, I had a, a great career at Jackson State. Uh, and then after I stopped playing, my, I had a coach named Andy Stoddard. He was my coach in college. And he asked me to come back and help him, co help him coach. And I say, sure, it gave me a chance to come back and get my master's degree. But it gave me a chance to come back and get some real, real experience in coaching. He's a really good coach. Uh, but when I first came back, I came back, I was over the study hall part of it, over the weightlifting part of it. And then I started getting into the recruiting part of it. And then once I got into the recruiting part of it, I started looking at the X and O's and stuff like that in, in the game. And I was under him for 20 years, so I learned a lot yeah. under him. He's a very good coach, and he understands people. And he taught, me, he taught me how to understand people and personnel. 
So if you don't have a good team, I learned early, you got to go get you some good players. The only way you can have a good team, you got to have good players. Yeah. So the recruit part of it is the number one, the key part of it. Go get you some good players. And then whatever system, I don't care what system you run, you're going to have success in whatever system you run. I spent 20 years there at Jackson State. Then I went to Mississippi Valley, which Andre Payne was the coach. He's the assistant coach at Alcorn now. And he taught me a lot about managing and stuff. And then I had another guy I worked on the name, Tavester Anderson. He worked at Georgia. He worked at Auburn. Uh, he's from Canton, so he came back, and I worked 10 years under Tavesta Anderson, which taught me a lot about managing the, the whole operation, the whole yeah. thing, the players, the managers, uh, the, the media, everything. He taught me a lot about the managing part. So I got a lot of experience, and uh, I just used that experience, and then, you know, I worked under Coach Bills for three years, but I just know him as a person, and he was my high school coach. And uh, he gave me a lot of uh, drive and everything. So I got a lot of experience. And uh, I just I just took all the experience and um, and just put it into what we do today, you know. And uh, I think uh, our players are, are learning a lot from that. For sure. And so now I want to preview this game that we're about to have on Saturday, which uh, it would be uh, you guys taking on uh, the University of the Virgin Islands yes. uh, there. Um, just kind of talk about uh, – going up playing against that team, a team that has not been able to play as many games as you guys have been able to thus far, but just kind of preview that game here, uh, right here on this on your home floor on Saturday. Well, you know, of course, you know, every day I know we won the, the championship last year. We went 17 and 0 in the conference, so we are the target, you know. Yeah. We, everybody, they target us. Every, everybody targets Tougaloo now. So they got a good team. Um, they got some good players. They got Two, two or three big guys that's very athletic. They can really score. They got a good, good guard play, and the, and the coach is a very good coach. I, I I met the coach, and I know we played him last year, and he got a really good style of play. And uh, I'm, the, the problem, I just got to get my team up and ready to play them. You know, uh, we're gonna be at home. We come back uh, home, and uh, I think they're gonna be happy to be at home, and I think they're gonna be excited. Our fans gonna be excited to see us come back home, and uh. Just I'm just I'm excited to play the Virgin Islands, and I'm gonna be excited to go go play them at uh, in, in sure. February. You know, get a chance to go to the Virgin Islands, get a chance to um, get my team to, to go out, to, um, not really go out the country, but fly and play. Yeah. So that'd be a great experience to a lot of the guys that haven't flown before, and uh, get a lot of experience like that. But we're getting better at, at the process, and I always tell my guys it's a process. So we're going through the process uh, to get better. For sure. Coach Eric Struthers, appreciate you joining us uh, for sure. And, folks, please be sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We will be bringing you this ball game, the Tougaloo uh, College Bulldogs taking on the University of Virgin Islands. That will be on January 13th. Folks, thank you for joining us. I'm Trellis Williams. This is TSM Network coverage. We out. Go Bulldogs.